Good Sunday morning, everybody, and Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah if you are celebrating that. As of right now, we're getting in some very mild conditions for the holiday. We have seen some very mild Christmases across the area, and we may be pushing a record high temperature for the day, depending on how things go. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. This is our exclusive video online weather blog called Weather Overtime. Questions, ideas about what you would like to see on here, austin.onik at wrg.com. High temperatures today. 70s, yeah, for Christmas, that's something else. So it's going to be in need of cooling things off a little bit later on. Temperatures tonight will be dropping back into the lower 50s for lows. But keep in mind that about 50 degrees, that's about our normal high temperature for this time of the year. So way above normal as we go throughout the course of the rest of the day. Could be some showers off and on into eastern Arkansas today. Most of the activity we're expecting will be later on tonight and especially into Monday. And more chances of rainfall over the next several days. So for today, Christmas being very mild out there. Think about maybe something to cool you down by just a little bit. Our exclusive and firmly tongue-in-cheek cough temp dex recommendation for beverage temperature based on the surrounding temperatures of the area. It's going to be needing something to cool off, believe it or not, on Christmas. So if you're going to be heading out the door pretty soon, you might want to think about that. But always keep an eye on your coffee temperature. If you get a brain freeze or burn the roof of your mouth, that's your problem, not ours, because you weren't paying attention. Temperatures out there back in the lower 60s with, again, some spotty showers out across the area. And temperatures again pushing 70 degrees by early this afternoon. With more sunshine out there, it could get even warmer. A straight chance of a sprinkle, but that's going to be about all. And numbers again on the winds picking up into the 10 to 15 mile per hour range. Heidelberg Elementary, wet streets this morning, fog lifting by just a bit. Germantown City Hall, barely able to see the second water tower north of Germantown High School. To say nothing about being able to see the towers of East Memphis or Germantown Parkway or Poplar Pike off in the distance there. Rest of the area again for today, early this morning, no problems being seen. Fog with low visibilities, but no delays to report. So if you or anybody else are having to hit the skyways, anybody flying in from distant areas, looks like no problems early on, but keep it tuned to the FAA on their Air Traffic Control System Command Center page at fly.faa.gov to keep up to date on the latest information out there. Windy Country club also seeing a lot of fog but nobody on the course for this morning not surprisingly oxford at ole miss on the campus looking very much on the hazy side thanks to fog drizzly with again a lot of fog at power center academy and the view from olive branch from the weather underground system of former mayor sam reichard's webcam at city hall a little bit on the hazy and drizzly side for early this morning we picked up nearly two inches of rainfall yesterday and that gives us a very nice surplus for the month and for the year so doing very good on rainfall out there. Temperatures yesterday, lower 60s for highs. Normal, 50 degrees for a high temperature. 76, the record high, last set back in 1889. So it's going to be very much on the warm side out there for later on today if everything works. And if we get enough sunshine, we will see again the possibility of temperatures even warmer than that. Heading into the rest of the forecast through noon today, temperatures in the upper 50s to around the lower 60s. And that should be our high temperatures for parts of the area, but I'm expecting that we may see numbers back in the lower 70s for later on today for high temperatures. Scattered showers, again, could be possible west of the Mississippi River for early this evening, and then heading into around the day after Christmas, temperatures in the mid to upper 60s to lower 70s yet again, and better chances of rain throughout the rest of the day, especially as we get into the evening hours, and then a new cold front approaches the area slowly into Monday night, and that gives us a very big cool down coming on through. Lower 70s for Christmas Day. Showers return late tonight. Scattered showers and thunderstorms across the area on Monday. Tuesday, very much cooler. Temperatures back in the lower to mid 50s and staying in the mid to upper 50s to the upper 40s by the end of the week. New Year's Eve could see some stray showers taking place. Hopefully no severe weather out there. We'll be watching that with a lot of interest. And 2017 rings in cool. Temperatures near normal in the upper 40s. And then looking at the possibility of more showers as we go into early 2017 with a lot more rainfall on the way toward next Tuesday. But once again, we'll be keeping a very close eye on that. Iraq, temperatures back in the 70s near Basra with rainfall reported. Mostly cloudy. Bag and notch off and 54 degrees and rain back up around Mosul into the Persian Gulf temperatures from the 80s around Riyadh to Kuwait 70s around Doha and Bahrain no major problems being seen here Afghanistan temperatures in the 30s around Faizabad 
40s around Kabul at the airport, 50s in Herat and Kandahar in the west and southwestern part of the country, and heading towards South Korea from the night and going on into early Monday morning almost across the dateline, 30s and 40s out there, 37 degrees in Seoul, 49 degrees in Busan. Might be a little bit of a cold front going on there. Radio across the area, keep it tuned to the EAB network for my forecast on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3, and don't forget to download our weather app. Go to your app store and search WREG Weather. I'll have your forecast again tonight on News Channel 3 at 5 for Sunday evening, and Tim Simpson will be coming in to work the 10 o'clock show for later on tonight, and then I'll be in for Todd Demers. He'll be taking the holiday week off later on, so you can expect a lot more of me from here at the News Channel 3 Weather Center to give you more on the forecast, keep you up to date on what's happening out across the Mid-South and beyond. Again, if there's something here you want to see that we can help you with, that we can put on here and make it a regular feature, please let us know. Austin.onic at WREG.com and we'll do our best to get it on here for you and keep you updated. Again, Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of the holiday. And be careful. Let's be careful out there.